When I was growing up, there was a girl in my neighborhood who was very weird. All of the other kids were freaked out by her. One day, she told all the kids that in the forest behind her house, there were dead, bloody people. When they heard this, all of the kids freaked out and told their parents. Their fathers had to go out and search the forest, just in case. All they found were candy wrappers and empty beer bottles. After that, all of the kids in the neighborhood refused to go near her, including me. A few years later, my parents divorced. On the day the moving came to take my mom's things out of the house, the girl came out of nowhere and told me that Matt didn't like that my parents were getting a divorce. I had no idea who Matt was. Even though I stopped being friends with her, my dad was still friends with her parents. My dad told me that Matt was her imaginary friend. Her parents had told him all about the problems that they were having with her. Matt was often too physical. They claimed that Matt could control the lights and could even make the power go out. They said Matt also knocked on doors at night. If he was ignored, the banging on the doors would start. A few years later, my dad decided that he would invite the girl and her parents over to our house. I begged my dad not to do this, but he thought it would be nice to catch up with them. When they came over that night, my dad told me to entertain the girl, so I brought her to my bedroom, and she seemed to be acting quite normally. She even told me how nice my room was. However, I was still creeped out by her. She just sat down in the middle of the floor while I tried to put a movie on the DVD player. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, in the most deadpan voice, she said, Matt's here. At that exact moment, the lights began to flicker on and off. I got so scared, I ran out of my room, crying in fear. Her parents came running up the stairs, dragging their daughter out of my room and took her home. For weeks afterwards, I refused to sleep in my bedroom. I haven't heard much from that family ever since. I heard that Matt still controlled the lights, but I don't know if he's still around. To this day, whenever the lights begin flickering or a bulb blows, it still freaks me out.